Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So since it's September, I thought that I would show you my summer setup. So I've been in this setup for most of the summer and because we are approaching fall and I want to do a fall setup soon. Um, I thought that I would show you how I set this up. So this is not gonna be a process set up. It's already done and set up. So um, before the end of summer, I did want to share what my summer setup looked like and what I've been using for the past several weeks. So this is a Kiki K planner and it's in the personal size. It's from the She Shines collection and it's actually a time planner so inside it had some time inserts but, but I put my own inserts from my shop and Angeline printables inside and I'll show you how I'm using it. So once again this is my summer setup. Um, it has the double clasp like this so if you chunk it up then you can move it into the larger one. So I really like that about this particular planner. This is a Safiano leather and it's in a really pretty um, peachy pink color. So this is what my summer setup looks like and I will share with you all the little bits and pieces that I have in here. So in the pocket I just have a piece of vellum. Um, this is vellum that I made myself and I just put a little scrap piece over here. I have a gold foil doily for some decoration and also to bring in the other bits of gold in here. Um, I do have another kind of peachy doily in here just to add some cuteness. Um, this gold foiled card is from Kiki K. So once again, bringing a lot of the foil in. And then this is actually a little memo pad. And I really love it because um, you may not be able to see on camera, but it's kind of textured. The whole thing is textured. It's die cut. And it's so beautiful and delicate. So you can definitely use this as a notepad to jot things down. But I also really love the... Um, details on it. I think the flowers are primrose, evening primrose. So I like that they brought a little bit of the blue in here because in this planner I do have peachy tones, a little bit of lilacs, light greens, and also light blues. And obviously the gold is scattered throughout as well. Um, this is a little die cut from a clip art set that I got off of Etsy. And it's just a little bikini bottom here, which I thought was so cute for the summer. Um, this bow clip, I'm not really sure where I got it from. I've had that for many, many years, so I can't really tell you where I got it from. And then this little gold foil um, tag, it says one of a kind, and that is from a paper lover's book from Kiki K. So over here, my pen is also from Kiki K. So it's just a twist up ballpoint pen, and I really love it because it brings in a lot of the gold that I have throughout the planner. Addie Plans gave this to me. She gave me a bunch of different dashboards and vellum. So um, I thought that this one was really nice because it had a little bit of the pinks that match this as well as the greens that match the dividers. So it just says life is short, make each hair flip count. And on the back, I did back it with some paper from Purpose Papery. So here is my first section. And this pretty rose acetate is from the GP Studio. I really love it, it's one of my favorites. Um, and this is one of my inserts for my shop Anna Jolene Principles. It's the Year at a Glance for 2021. So this is a brand new release in my shop. And this is one of the inserts that's available. So it's a 2021 calendar. So this option is the one that is a Sunday start and it's on two pages. I also offer it in the one page and this is what that looks like. So the January to December on the one page. Um, I do have a Monday start and a Sunday start available on it. So the back of it, so this is what the back of it looks like. It has the important dates. So it has January to December here, so you can list out all the dates. 
And then on the two page spread, this is kind of how I've used mine. I just put some important dates that I know that are coming up in the next year or so, um, as well as anniversaries, birthdays, and that kind of stuff. So I will be using the transparent dot stickers that I have in here just to mark it up. Um, and then this is going to be kind of like a year at a glance kind of reference thing, just so I can see when dates fall on. Like for example, if January 1st, I know that it falls on a Friday, that kind of thing. So all of the dividers that I'm using are part of this planner. It came with this planner. So since the planner is a peachy color and then the dividers are mint, I used a TPS kit, a Planner Society kit, to kind of bring in more colors to keep it quite fresh and summery. So this is kind of what I've come up with. So this is a Planner Society vellum. So it has the little swans on it. And then this first section is my monthly. So this insert is in my shop. And if you watched any of my recent plan with me's, you have already seen these inserts. So that's kind of how I've been planning in my monthly. So I haven't set up September yet. I will do a plan with me on that soon. Um, and then this I just made, it's a little page marker using some leftover vellum. And I just laminated it and I'm using it to kind of hold these kind of paper clips on. So this one is a really beautiful one from Sweet Paper Bliss. And um, it matches this planner perfectly with all the peach roses. So I love that it kind of brought in the gold roses that I have here. It looks exactly like it. So I love that. So I just use it to mark my page here. I slit the holes so that it's easy for me to take in and out. So that's my monthly. And here I have a Planner Society paper. It's from a really old kit. And this quote card is from the GP Studio from a previous sub box. It has the rose gold foiling on it and it says stay focused and extra sparkly. So I love how this paper brings a little bit of the sunny yellow in it. And then this die cut is from the GP Studio as well. So the next divider here I have another dashboard and I used um, some TPS paper again. I think it was from a March kit, either 2019 or 2018, I can't remember. And then this die cut is from a GP Studio sub box as well. And then the backing is also from TPS. This is one of the die cuts that I got from Lana Eleanor, it's on Etsy. And then I have another one of the GP Studio Acetates with the gold foiled roses. So next up is my weekly. And I printed out some new inserts. So this is a vertical weekly. So this space you can write the month or you can use a habit tracker. And then you have seven heart checklists here. So I use it for either dinners or like a to-do. And it kind of goes like this, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. In the center here, I do have a top loading um, page marker that says today up here, and I use some TPS paper to make it. Um, this die cut is from Powder World, and this one is from Glimmering Glen Co. And then these sandals match the theme really perfectly, and it's from GP Studio. So I have that insert and then I also have this insert which is a week on one page and that's also in my shop or at least coming to my shop. Um, next up I do have my daily section so again I have another piece of that acetate. I love using the same acetate or vellum throughout just so that the entire planner setup is cohesive. So this is my daily section and I just have a page marker here from Kiki K. And this is how I've been using my time dailies. So um, I've just been jotting down my to-dos and any timed events here like that. And then I also have this piece of acetate and it's from Michaels. It just has some words on it in the white font. And I attached a journaling card from Kiki K. It says do what you love and it matches the kind of peachy colors. 
and I attached it with a Kiki K paper clip. So the back is quite cute as well. It has the spotted peach dots. I don't know if you can see it well on camera, but it's definitely there. So I have these dailies as well. These are also from my shop, and on Jolene Principles, and these boxes will fit Erin Condren stickers. And then you have the to-do list, so you can use this in the morning, afternoon, or the evening. Or you can use them for different things, so like school, work, your personal stuff, anything like that. I have another dashboard here, and this is made from TPS paper, and then another one of the um, fashion die cuts there. And on the back, I have two die cuts from GP Studio. And then this quote card is from Kiki K. It says, look after yourself and the rest will fall into place. And then my next divider, I do have more of that TPS vellum again, that beautiful swans. And this is my perpetual calendar. So here I've been um, keeping track of my video schedule. So that's my schedule for July. And I have some of them written down for August, so I'm going to get ready to write my schedule down for September. Then I have another section here, um, and this dashboard is made with some TPS paper again. I really love the light blue colors, and it has a little bit of the green as well to match the dividers. This denim bow paper clip is one of my favorites. It's so pretty, and I think the lighter denim kind of matches with the whole summer vibe. This is from Glimmer and Glam Co. And then I do have the cute one piece um, swimsuit and that is from the same fashion clip art. So on the back here I have more TPS paper and then this sunglass die cut is from the GP Studio. And then I do have um, my habit trackers. I haven't set it up for September yet, so I will be doing that next. And then I also have my yearly tracker as well. My next section, um, I do have just a basic list insert in case I want to write down um, like a wish list or any other type of list. So I just have those handy. And then I have another piece of acetate, and this is from Michaels again. And then I have another gold foiled journaling card and that is from Kiki K. It says start small and dream big. And I just attach that with another paper clip. In this section I've been using this as a health and fitness tracker. So I've been writing down my dinners in this section. Um, I've been tracking my workouts here and then some habit trackers. So like making sure that I get enough sleep every night and also making sure that I'm drinking enough water. And then I have um, some to-dos here and a grocery or to-buy list. And so that's how I've been using this insert. And then next up, um, in my last section, I do have another die cut of this beautiful skirt. And then um, this insert I've been using to kind of track some things for my dog. So it's just a week on one page here, and then it has some habits as well as a note section. So I've just been tracking some health things for my dog, so when he eats and how much he eats and that kind of stuff. So that's what I've been using this insert for. And then I have another dashboard from TPS Paper, and this die cut is from GP Studio. I really love it because it has like a magazine. She has like her sun cream and sunnies really perfect for a summer setup and then that's the back of the paper and then I just have another one of the fashion die cuts and then in here I just have some note paper so lined paper and I also have like my passwords here so I'm not going to show you that um, and then at the very back here I do have um, another one of the dashboards that Addie, Addie Plans gave me um, and this one kind of has all the colors that I have already in the setup. So it has kind of the light purples, a little bit of the kind of light blues and greens, 
And then she just has a beautiful summer dress on and she's taking a picture. The quote says, take your best picture. So I thought it matched really well with this. And then at the end, I just backed it with another one of the Purpose Papery papers. So that is my summer setup, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's very summery, very colorful, but still quite soft at the same time. Um, I do really love all the different papers and textures that I have going on in here. Um, I really like like pairing the kind of blues, the lilacs, and the greens, and the peach. I just thought it was like a really cool setup to kind of bring the dividers and the color of the planner together. And um, I really liked bringing in some of the yellow to kind of match with the kind of gold foiling that I have throughout here. So that is my summer setup. Um, I will be filming a September plan with me very soon. Things have just been super, super busy. Um, and once you see my schedule for September, you'll probably understand why. Um, it's been taking me so long to film that video, but hopefully I can get it done soon. I'll probably film it after this video. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this setup video. I will have everything linked down below. Um, some of these items, like for example the dashboards, I'm not sure that um, they're available anymore, but whatever um, is available still, I will link it down below. Um, if you guys liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!